terrorists have once again carried out a deadly attack in Lebanon. This time, they targeted an area near the Iranian embassy, which led to the death of innocent people. Scores were killed and over 100 were wounded in the attack on Tuesday. Bodies of bystanders were drowning in blood, while ambulances rushed to the scene to transfer the injured to nearby hospitals. Nearby buildings were damaged, windows shattered, and cars were set on fire. The Lebanese army says the attack was carried out by bombers, one who blew himself up while walking and another while driving a car. Among the murdered was Iranian cultural attaché Sheikh Ibrahim al-Ansari. Iranian ambassador to Lebanon, Ghadam Farouk Nabadi, condemned the attack, confirming the death and injury of some of the embassy guards. This attack was aimed at the Iranian embassy. Several embassy guards have gotten martyred and some were injured. Whoever committed this act was coordinating with and serving the Zionist entity. Hezbollah also condemned the attack, saying it is a message to Iran for its involvement in solving the Syrian crisis peacefully and holding international negotiations. They are all one issue, one problem being trying to be solved internationally. And like you have seen, Geneva is, is carrying the two meetings, uh, supposedly, the Geneva 2 and the Geneva 2 that uh, base for the nuclear and the other one based for Syria. So all what they can do is sending such a message to this embassy as if they are trying, trying to say, we are not able to do more than this. Some analysts believe such terrorist attacks are supported by Saudi Arabia. Those who committed this act are being ordered by regional states, precisely Saudi Wahhabi groups, because they want to deliver bloody messages similar to the ones they are sending on the Syrian arena. This is the third blast that has hit Beirut within the past five months. Meanwhile, an Al-Qaeda-linked group has claimed responsibility for the attack. Eliana Al-Khamisi, Press TV, Beirut.